Hey everyone, and welcome to your Airdrie real estate market update for October 2022. Now I've been asked a few times why our market here hasn't dropped as much as other markets around Canada recently. And I'm gonna to touch on that a little bit in this market update. But first, go ahead and smash that like button if you like these monthly updates, and subscribe so you don't miss all the videos we will continue to put out about Airdrie and Airdrie real estate. And also hit that bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, well, let's pull up our Airdrie market graphic here. As you're gonna see on this, last month we had 147 sales here in Airdrie. This is down about 13% from the previous month's 169 sales. We saw about 165 new listings within the month of September, which is also down from last month, down about 25% compared to the 220 new listings we saw in August. So that's interesting. Both are coming down, but new listings comes down at double the pace of sales right now. So how does that affect the market? Well, it means that our inventory had to come down as well if it's not being fed by as many listings. To start October, we had 260 homes for sale in Airdrie, and this is down about 9% from the 286 we had in the previous month. Which brings us to our months of supply, which we're currently sitting at about 1.77 months of supply in our market, which has gone up slightly from the previous month of 1.69 months, but not really a whole lot. If you remember a few months ago, I was saying that I expect by September or October, I expect we're gonna be at about two months of supply and be more of a balanced market at that point. Well, I gotta admit, I was a little bit wrong there. It looks like it's gonna take a bit longer. We are trending that way, but it's gonna be a few months late or a couple months late in getting there. The market just hasn't slowed down quite as much as I was expecting. Now, why is that? Why is it that our market here, in terms of pricing, has only cooled off about four to five percent total, but other areas in Canada have seen 10, 15, 20% and more decreases in their pricing? Well, the big reasoning for this is the net interprovincial migration for Alberta as compared to some of those other provinces. Here in Alberta, we continue to see more and more people moving here from other provinces, which is preventing our market from dropping off as steep as the markets in, say, Vancouver or Toronto, for example. A lot of Canadians are moving to Alberta for affordability, lifestyle, job opportunities, and different reasons like that. On this chart here, you can see our net migration from other provinces. A lot of people moving here from Ontario, as you can see, and it's becoming more and more every single quarter. And even BC, who last year we were actually losing people to, now as of Q2 2022, we had a net positive moving from BC as well. Alberta did see a net migration of nearly 10,000 people in Q2 this year, which is a level that we haven't seen since back in 2014, eight years ago. And as long as we continue to see this type of demand from people moving here, it's unlikely that we're gonna see a crash in the market the way things are going right now. More likely just the continuation of the gradual slowdown that we've seen for the last four to five months now. Now moving on to our pricing, our overall benchmark price did move down another 1.5% last month. As we've seen for the past few months in a row now, we are still at a year over year increase of 16% in our overall pricing, but that year over year number will start to move down down a lot as we get into winter, as last winter is when we really started to see our prices take off. Now I'd expect that we continue to see a one to 2% decrease each month for the coming months, and our year over year number likely will dip into the negative percent range around February. Where we go from there, it's so hard to say, because last winter what happened with our prices here, I don't think anybody predicted, so it's impossible to say what's gonna happen, but for the next few months, I think we're gonna continue on the trend that we're on right now. Now that's the overall pricing, but price fluctuations can be very different when we break it down to our four styles of homes, so let's take a look now at the pricing for each style of home. Our detached home prices came down another 1.6% last month, now down 5% from our peak numbers in the springtime. Semi-detached homes were also down 1.6% last month, which puts them down 5.5% from our spring highs. So they're actually the style that's come down the most from those spring highs at this point. Townhomes saw their first decrease so far in 2022 last month, down just 0.6% and we are still up 21% year over year right now on those townhomes here in Airdrie. And apartments had no change at all in the pricing last month, so apartments are still up 22% year over year, which makes them the best performing year over year style of property in Airdrie right now. 
All things considered, our market here in Airdrie is still historically quite strong, especially when we're comparing it to other markets right now across Canada or even across North America. If you are thinking about making a move, I'd love to have a chat. All of my information is down below, or if you'd like to have an evaluation done on your home or receive my monthly market report specifically for your neighborhood. Links for all of that are down below. Again, my name is Brad Walker with Real Broker. Have a great October and we'll see you next month.